I'm here with my November empties. Uh, um, compared to last month, I don't have as many empties, which is good. Hopefully this video will be shorter than last month's because that one was like over half an hour, which is insanity. Um, but same as last month, I still have like tea empties, I have candle empties, plus all my like beauty, um, makeup, skincare sort of empties. So without further ado, I will get started. And I'll start off with my tea empties. So this one is the Tazo Awake English Breakfast, just a black tea, just like a standard black tea. I have tea, like a crazy person at work, I have black tea and green tea, and this is one of the black teas I have at work. I like to have black tea every morning. And, you know, Tazo is just kind of a less expensive black tea. Um, I find that all kind of black teas around this price point, they kind of all taste the same unless you're spending a lot more money to get something a little more high quality. Not that it's not good, it's just standard black tea. So I do like this and I have repurchased um, this type like multiple times. I definitely would repurchase this again. Um, another work tea that I had is this Yogi Green Tea Super Antioxidant. Anything Yogi is going to have like lots of different ingredients. Um, this one has like grapeseed extract, different herbs, lemongrass, green tea leaf, licorice root, blah, 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 blah. So this isn't just a straight up green tea, if that's what you're looking for. It has a little bit more complexity to it. It's supposed to, you know helps reduce free radicals. They all have, all the yogi teas have something that they're supposed to do. Um, so they're a little more complex. I did like this. It's just not a standard green tea. So if you're looking for some more medicinal, I guess this would be a medicinal sort of tea. I'd recommend this, but if you're just looking for green tea, just standard green tea, this is probably not what you would be wanting. But I did finish this. Another black tea that I finished, this is from Mighty Leaf. This is the Orange Dulce. I really, really like this. This is a more luxurious type of tea. I think it's around like the $10 mark. So definitely more expensive than like the Tazo. But this is very nice. It's black tea. It has hints of orange. So it's more than just a standard like English breakfast tea. And I really did enjoy this. And then the last tea that I used, and I think I talked about this last month. This is also from Yogi. This is the Honey Lavender Stress Relief, and I really, really love this tea. Um, it's really great for, like, before bed, just ha have something very calming. And I find it as, like, an alternative to, like, chamomile tea, which I really just dislike the taste of chamomile tea. Um, so I find that this really works for me and I really do enjoy it. Now I do like lavender so I suppose if you didn't like lavender you might not like this but I feel like the lavender isn't too overpowering since there is the honey it kind of mellows it out a little bit but I really love this tea. Definitely would repurchase that. Okay so I also used up some candles. The first one I used up from Bath and Body Works I used up two candles this month. They're both from Bath and Body Works, both the three wick candles. Um, this one is Weather Weather. And previously in October, I had burnt a lot of very sweet sort of bakery type scents. So this was really nice. This is a very like fresh, it kind of smells like you're outdoors on a fall day. Um, and the, on the bottom it says, cuddle up with an aromatic blend of eucalyptus, juniper berry, and fresh sage that celebrates the crisp arrival of autumn breezes. So I found this very refreshing to burn, and I would definitely um, consider repurchasing it next fall. So I really liked that. And the other candle I used up was Autumn. And this one... I burn it after sweater weather. I really love sweater weather, and currently I'm burning leaves, which I really love. So this one, like comparing it to the other candles, I just didn't like it as much. It just didn't have that like, oh my goodness, I need, I like need to burn this candle. It smells so great, like quality. I have burnt this before. I don't know. I feel like it just had different comparisons this year, and I was burning other things that I really loved. So this one was okay. Um, the bottom notes say a crisp 
fall fragrance that blends dark pomegranate with red delicious apple and juicy fig and notes of fir balsam. So it is a very like fruity, like balsam and fruity kind of mixture of a set. I mean, it is really nice. Um, I just don't know if I ha would have to repurchase it next year. Um, I didn't hate it, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is the best candle ever. So I used that one up. Staying on the Bath and Body Works kind of theme, I also used up some foaming hand soaps from them. Um, the first one is the from the Provan Provence collection um, from this past spring, the Mandarin Citron. Citron. This one I had on my um, kitchen sink. I really like it because it's like a tangerine kind of orange sort of scent. I guess mandarin scent, not tangerine. Um, but I really like sort of an orange sort of scent, some sort of citrus or like a lemon sort of scent. Um, very like fresh for the kitchen. So I really liked it for that purpose. Um, and then in my bathroom, I had something a lot sweeter. This is pumpkin cupcake. Um, and this one says, indulged in baked pumpkin whipped vanilla frosting and honey. And this one's very, this one's very nice. And you know, kind of a pumpkin-y sort of vanilla scent. I definitely would consider repurchasing this one next fall. So let's get in now to some beauty sort of empties. I'll start with makeup. And a lot of this stuff is things, if you've been watching my Project 10 Pants, a lot of this stuff is Project 10 Pan item stuff. So one of the things I used up was my Benefit Professional. Um, and it's just a kind of pore minimizing sort of primer. Used it all up. This, I feel like I like it better using it in specific areas, kind of where my pores are more enlarged versus my whole face. I felt like kind of made me a little bit oily on like my T-zone area. Um, so I think I wouldn't necessarily re repurchase it to wear all over my face. I would have to use it for more spot specific areas which would take it me a lot longer to use this up um, currently i have a little like deluxe travel size of it and i think that's probably the perfect size for how i want to use it so i don't know if i'd rush out and repurchase this just because i feel like it would take me forever to use it up um, the way i want to use it so i use that up i also used up a mascara this is from lancome this is the hypno star um i've gone through a few of these like sample travel size mascaras. Um, I really enjoy using it. I really like the wand of this. But I definitely don't think I would buy the full size of this just because I've got, gotten a lot of um, the like sample sizes through like different Sephora orders. Um, I don't know the last time I actually had to buy a full size mascara. I keep getting like free mascara with different things. So I don't know. I feel like it's not worth paying the full price for this, especially since most mascaras you're only supposed to have about three months. Um, so yeah, probably just keep with using the sample size mascaras. And if I had to buy a mascara, I probably could go more of a drugstore route, but I did enjoy using this. Um, I used up a few more makeup items for my Project 10 pan. This is from Milani. This is the Champagne Toast Shadow Eyes Shadow Stick thingy. And I'm just down, this is like the plastic nub of it. So I used up all the product of this. And then from Fresh, I used up the Sugar Lip Treatments in Petal and in Honey. And these two I really loved using. I would definitely repurchase these. I actually have on my Christmas wish list, it's the, I think called Sweet Nude set from Fresh. And it has both of these. Um, and the rose lip treatment, the clear lip treatment, and like a lip scrub. So maybe I'll be getting this for Christmas. So I definitely would consider repurchasing these though. But I think as far as fresh things, just because I think they're like $22 for the full size of these. Um, I think there's a lot better deal to get like one of the sets and get a few items um, for like a more reduced price. So that's probably the way I would go. I'm repurchasing the fresh sort of items or the fresh sugar lip treatment stuff just because they're so expensive otherwise. Um, I used up some skincare. 
This is a moisturizer. This is the Kate Somerville Oil-Free Moisturizer. I learned about this. I got a 500-point perk through Sephora with like the Kate Somerville one. I think it was a few years ago now. I don't even know. Um, but it had the moisturizer, the detox cleanser, and the exfoliate. And I really loved all the products. I hadn't used anything from Kate Somerville before that. And I needed to buy a new moisturizer. I was like, well, I had the oil-free one from Kate Somerville. It's supposed to be for acne-prone skin. I like something oil-free. Um, a very, like, oily, like, acne-prone, sensitive skin. So I got this. It is very expensive. It's, like, $65, which I think is a really expensive for a moisturizer. Um... I would love to repurchase this. I mean, I really enjoyed using it, but I'm kind of feel like I can't justify continually repurchasing this and always having it on hand. I definitely would consider repurchasing it at some point, especially maybe a Sephora, like a 20% off sale, or if I had some sort of gift card or a coupon or something. But yeah, I didn't repurchase this one yet, but I did really enjoy using it. Um, for more skincare, I also used up, this is from Neutrogena, it's Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing and Makeup Remover. So I tend to shower at night, um, what I'll do is like take my eye makeup off with an eye makeup remover before I get into the shower, but to take off all my face me makeup, I use this, um, which is nice because it's a cleanser and it takes off your makeup. I really like using this. I've repurchased this quite a few times. I've already repurchased this current one. Um, or I have one in, a new one in my shower now, um, but I really do like using this. I find that it works really well. I don't really use it for eye makeup so much, but it does a good job of taking off my other sort of makeup, so I do really like that. Um, more skincare. I also, so I was like traveling for Thanksgiving, or I went to my parents' house for Thanksgiving, so I took some travel size things with me. Um, one thing that I did use up was this Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I had I had had this before that I got it in a set, and I really liked it. But I noticed this time when I was using it that it did a really good job of removing makeup, so I really did like it for that. I just don't know if I could justify paying the full price for this because it is more expensive. Um, but I did really like using it, and I definitely um, would consider like repurchasing it, like through buying some sort of set. So. I really did like that. Um, I think my last skincare item is this eye cream. This I got on my Birchbox. I used to be subscribed to Birchbox, but I've had this for a while. Um, this is from Supergroup. It's the Advanced, advanced Anti-Aging Eye Cream, um, but has SPF 37. So, I don't know... Um, if it was the SPF, but something about this just made it not sink into my skin. It was really kind of hard to use. I just kind of really dislike this. I like the idea that it has SPF, but I don't know if that's what it caused. Because it's kind of like when you use sunscreen, it just won't really sink into your skin. It's kind of like that. So it made me think that it was the SPF in it that caused that. Um, I don't know if it wasn't that, but something about this I just really didn't like. So definitely would not purchase this. Um, I have some body care stuff. This is from the Body Shop. I love Body Shop. This is the Mango um, Body Butter. I love the smell of it. It smells so good. This is just a very thick, it's for very dry skin, very thick body butter, and I really like using it. Definitely would repurchase this. Um, I don't know if this is considered body care. I also have a skin to mint, um, like shaving cream. This one's in Raspberry Rain. I like this one because 20% more. I always try to find the 20% more ones. Um, definitely would repurchase this. I like it. Skin to mint's my favorite, like, brand of shaving cream, but definitely liked using that. Um... See, I have another travel size item. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's just the travel size body wash shower gel thing. This is in Paris Amour. I really like the scent of this. Very kind of 
floral, but more of a perfumey sort of floral. And when I travel, I tend to take um, the Bath and Body Works like body washes and body lotions. So um, I don't know if I'd repurchase this scent, um, but I did really like using it. So that's that. Um, just a few more things. I also used up one of these cotton round things. This is from Up and Up, just the regular um, type. I use this to take off like nail polish, for toner, to take off eye makeup. So go through those quite a bit. Um, speaking of nail polish, I also used up a nail polish remover. This is also from Up and Up. It's the nourishing, the blue type with vitamin E. Um, I like using it. I mean, I've repurchased this. I usually get, I'm usually at Target. That's like my store that I mainly get, uh, like, everything mainly. <laughs> mainly. Um, so, yeah, I'll continue repurchasing this. I don't know if I have a, like, particular favorite. Lately, I've been getting the vitamin E one, though. But that is that. Um... I have a hair item. This was in my Finish Six by Christmas. This is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. If you've been watching my Finish Six by Christmas, you know that I've had this for like years. It took me forever to use up. Um, but I really want to use up a lot of my hair care items. I just have a lot. I feel like there's stuff that can take up, like take a long time to use and they tend to like just sit on a shelf. So I don't, I want to use up more hair care items before I'd repurchase this. I don't know if I would repurchase it just because I feel like I've been using it or had been using it like forever. Um, but, you know, it worked and it was good. But, you know, not something I need to rush out and repurchase. And then I only have one more empty and it's a hand cream. Um, this is from L'Occitane. It's the dry cream, dry skin hand cream. And then I cut this open to get all the product out. I always want to do that. I need to get like every little bit of product. But I really like this. I like that it's unscented. I have scented hand creams too, but this one's nicely unscented. And I do have like dry um, hands. Um, so I do really like using that. And I definitely would repurchase. And I've already repurchased. I have like a jumbo size of this on my nightstand. So I definitely have already repurchased this. So that is everything. That's all my empties for November. I'd love to know if there's some stuff that you guys recently used up. Um, it's always, like, fun to see, like, what people are able to use up. And I think these empties videos are really interesting just to see what I use up in a month. It's kind of, um, I guess, informative, if anything. But that is all. I hope you all have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye.